this was my physique back in like pretty decent, right? But what if I told you that I intentionally got out of shape? Yeah, as you can see guys, I lost a little weight and a lot of muscle, but that is alright because I did this on purpose. Well, not quite on purpose because I went through a breakup and I went a few trips, so I haven't been going to the gym for three months. But I'm gonna show you guys that it's easy to gain weight and muscle in 30 days! All we need is 30 days of consistency and dedication, and yeah, that helps. Anyways, we are starting at a body weight of exactly 57 kilograms, and this is our physique before the challenge. Overall, the goal is to regain a bit of weight and muscles, and to just feel fitter in general, because in the past months, I felt scrawny and weak as fuck. So, let the challenge begin. It's day one, and today the weather was pretty good, I felt motivated, I had fish for breakfast. I'm just kidding, I know y'all don't want to hear all of that, so I'm gonna just go straight to the point. So this is how my usual grocery shopping looks like. Avocados are pretty good because they have good fats and they're pretty yummy. Bananas are good too, but they are kind of sold out. All well, my favorites are clementines because you have to get your vitamins in and they're a good snack. So clementines all the way. I feel like a lot of people forget about those, but you gotta eat your greens. Like it's, it doesn't matter what, cabbage, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, whatever. You just gotta take those too many benefits, sure. The carbs, I eat rice because, uh, yeah, in my opinion, better than noodles, tastes better, all better. Or maybe I'm just biased. <laughs> Your phone ringing! And healthy conflicts, those are insane, just look at the macros, like, yo, 16 grams of protein in 100. Or bread, you can go for protein toast, uh, or like this kind of thing, but I hate those. They just taste, doesn't, they just doesn't taste good, in my opinion. Usually I only drink water, but if you're craving something with taste, like something more sweet, you can go for water with, I don't know, taste, but no sugar, zero sugar. And this one is tea with the zero sugar. And if you want to snack something, just grab a few peanuts, honestly, just a few packs of peanuts. They have a good amount of protein and a good amount of fat, so... And as for main protein, you can go for... Chicken breast, they're very lean, low fat, a lot of protein, so... Yeah, um, steak works too, but it's a little pricey, to be honest. Salmon, very good too, uh, good omega-3 fats and a lot of protein. But if you're lazy as fuck, you can just go for... Those Russian dumplings, I've been eating those for the past three weeks. Yo, pretty good macros. If you're the laziest person on planet Earth, you can just get a can of tuna too. This kind of yogurt, pretty good too, but it's low-key expensive, 2 euros per can. To be honest, tofu is kind of underrated too. Hot take, I'm not a fan of protein bars. Sole reason, uh, they might have a lot of protein, but they are actually quite unhealthy because they have like very bad fats, like a lot of saturated fats. And a lot of like, some have a lot of sugar. So no, no, no. This is pretty much what I buy at the grocery store, but now to the exciting part, my workout routine. For this challenge, I did a four split, chest and shoulders, arms, back, and then abs and legs. And this is how it looked in detail. Day one, chest and shoulders, bench press, butterfly machine, forward leaning dips for upper chest, shoulder press with barbells, lateral raises at the machine, reverse butterflies at the machine. Day two, back, pull up, cable row, cable light pull downs, and high back extensions. Day three, bicep and tricep. Preacher curls at the machine, hammer curls with the rope, tricep push down with easy bar, leaning overhead cable extension, and tricep push down with rope. Day four, legs and abs. Leg extensions, leg press, hamstring machine, adductor machine, elbow to knee, and stretching. The whole challenge went great. I got my workouts done, I kept pushing myself, I stick to my diet, until I had to go to the hospital. Chen, why did you have to go to the hospital? Well, I think this video just explains it the best. <laughs> Basically, my neck was injured, my head was injured, my knee was injured, and my fingers were injured. So, I had to take rest for at least a week. Therefore, I couldn't really push myself the next few days because it still low-key hurts. Nevertheless, I still wanted to finish this challenge. So, here are the results. At the 
camp, I just want to say that consistent inputs are important, even if it's small sometimes. But if you keep being consistent for a long period of time, you can expect something to change. It's like edging, you keep stroking it and just keep stroking it and eventually like you're gonna bust and that's the reward you're getting. Like just keep being consistent with your strokes.